Hi everybody, this is Pam with Jesus Junk Journals and we're getting ready to start on the Luke Journal. And so I've got my pages here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my add-on kit and pull that one page out that is actually a journal page, which is the Prodigal Son. And add that to this so it doesn't get lost in the shuffle. And so I'm just going to start working on the back sides of the white pages and so today and I'm going to try and, and do shorter videos I'm, I don't want to have any videos that are like 45 minutes to an hour I think that's too long so I'm going to try to do them by what I'm doing so this one will be stenciling and so on as much as I can and uh, hopefully that'll if somebody's looking for a certain thing they can find it that way so I've just pulled off some general stencils get my ink if I can remember what I did with it. It's been a long time really, or it feels like it's been a long time since I've actually done a kit. I, um, I had a class up here in my, in my craft room with about six people and so I completely reworked my, my space so that they could fit up here and moved everything and then I had a knee replacement immediately, <laughs> immediately following and so I feel like I don't know where anything is and I put everything back where I think I want it, but it's, I feel like it's been a year since I've been up here. So these are my inks. These are the Tim Holtz inks. And um, let me see, I want my green. Since I have a lot of botanical prints, I'm going to go ahead and uh, also just, if you, if you do these, let me just say this, if you're using the Distress inks, um, he sells them in sets usually. I forget now. I think you get three at a time. And I resisted. I, I hate to spend money on stuff that's not necessary. So I resisted buying these little tins for the longest time. But they're worth it. They hold them perfectly. And you want to store them upside down. And then the little pads for your uh, daubers, you can store in the bottom of them. So I mean, they've d designed them pretty well. And if you do this, you want to always create yourself a palette so you know what the actual color of the ink is. You can't always go by the label. Um, it's a little bit different. So it's always good to have a palette of what's going on here. So I'm going to, I like to use at least two colors together. So I will use moss and, come on there, stick and try to when I, the other thing that happens is when I use two I get them I end up getting them mixed up and get my ink all messed up and then I'm going to use this lucky clover I think I kind of like that bluish green and this yellow green together so and then I'll use I'm gonna go ahead and use this big fern leaf let's see so I'm just going to hit it couple of places and then fill in where I didn't hit it with the olive green or moss green it's called let's see okay so there's that and these inks are water soluble if you've never used them you just they wash off with water so you can let them sit. You don't have to go clean them immediately. So I am just doing some stenciling. Um, basically just to get something on the page. It might get covered up later and if I don't like it, it will definitely get covered up later. So I'm just going to do just a few things. I'm going to go to my reds and yellows and oranges and I might do a little bit of the, the roses. So I'm going to use this, what is this, abandoned coral and <laughs> I'm going to use red. I don't know if there's enough difference in these two to actually make a difference, but I'll try Let's see what happens. Oops. 
Um, these stencils, like th this, I just got a set off of Amazon. They just had a group of a lot of uh, different ones. Yeah, those reds don't really don't really look much different. So I'm just gonna put that on there, and just because I'm trying to get something on the page, I'm gonna do this, and I may end up covering it up later, and that's fine. And then I think I have, yeah, I have a number one. So I'm gonna take the numbers and do the hickory smoke and do these numbers and kind of overlap and see how that looks. Not that crazy about that gray, so I'm gonna take that off. I might just go back with. Let's see, I've got a brown ground espresso. Let me try that. I like the warmer tones. I think of the browns. And I think I'll just do another one. Okay. So I'm really just kind of randomly putting design down. Okay, and then where's, I've got a pattern. And I'll go ahead and do this Mermaid Lagoon, because that color is on the kit. The blues are everything from a warm blue, like a turquoise blue, to a purpley cool blue. So you're pretty safe to put, and actually I might hit it with that. Um, Blueprint Sketch Blue, because it's a cool blue, purpley blue. And that way I've got both of them together, which kind of helps tie it all together. Oop. Like that. Put a little bit more up here. <laughs> it helps if you hold it still. But if you Move it, and you can always put it back where it belongs, so. Okay, so now if I, I'm, I wanna move to like a, the peaches again, the reds, and if I do that, just be aware that like, see how this has ink on it. You might wanna take a wet wipe and wipe it off because this ink stays active, and as soon as you hit it with some more ink, it, it wakes up and it'll just turn to mud. So it's a good idea to wipe it off. See how it comes off. I don't have a sink up here in my craft room, so I usually just throw these all in this plastic bucket over here and then walk them downstairs and wash them off later. But since I want to reuse this, I'm going to do that. Get it off my fingers a little bit. And then open this one back up. And I like the wild honey a lot, and I think I'll use candied apple just for fun. There's not any red in this, but I think if I'm careful, it will, it'll be pink. <laughs> we'll see. So, okay, careful. <laughs> That's very red. And I'm kind of careful to put it where it's already red because again, if I put red over where the yellow ink is on this stencil, it will make it mix together. So, all right. 
And then this one needs something with it, I think. So maybe, what else do I have? I'm gonna grab another stencil, I think. Okay, here's a couple more. I'm gonna add this flower pattern. Go ahead and use this gold and red. Ooh, that's pretty strong. <laughs> Move it up here. Okay, and then this daisy kind of flower I'm gonna go ahead and do also with the gold. And the pink. <laughs> I think I'm mixing my ink, but not too bad. Okay. All right, so that's that. So that's a few sheets. So I think um, I'm gonna stop with the stenciling and I will probably move on to the, in the next video I'm gonna do, I think some jelly plate printing and do a few sheets of that. So that was short and sweet. I will see you on the next video. Bye-bye.